But yeah. is there something else that is evolving that is able to be sensitive to this higher level of reality? We have this notion of the soul. You know? Most people uh, won't talking about the soul. It's a kind of non-physical thing, highly theoretical. And so when you go to church, you take this soul out of the closet and polish it up a little bit, and then you go to church and you, you had one with your soul. Then you come back and put it back in the closet till next week. So uh, that's about the idea of a normal person, the soul. But actually, that's not the case. I mean, we don't have souls, but it's just the other way around. The soul has us. So that is that thing that evolves, the permanent, eternal thing, is the soul. And the body is a kind of disposable thing. Uh -huh. That is, you know, you, you use a body uh, like a car for 80,000 miles, 100,000 miles, and you chunk it, and that's it, you get another one. So it's the, the driver is the soul who, who uses the body for a while, and then he runs it into the ground, and he gets another one sooner or later. And, and so it's the soul which is experiencing evolution, and not our personality, not our physical yeah. uh, existences. That is, the soul is the repository of information that we gather during life. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you, maybe we should draw another diagram. Mm -hmm. Physical bodies are here, and another physical body, another physical body, and this is Joe, and this is Jim, and this is Sarah, etc. Uh -huh. Now, clearly, on the phys this is the physical level, yeah? Now, on this physical level, we are separate. You sit there, and I sit here, and we're all separate. Now, let's draw another level. This level is, is slightly higher, and let's call this the level of the soul, yeah? Well, there will be some mingling here. Let's, let's draw this person as extending to practically infinity this way. Now, look what happens. At the physical level, we are separate. We are separate, and there's this much distance between mm -hmm. us. Let's say that on the soul level, this person extends this much, and the other person gets slightly mixed in with him. That is, the souls are, in a way, in touch with each other. Okay, they overlap, these two lines. Now, let's go now to a higher level, and let's call this, uh, say, the level of the higher self, which is kind of a boss of that soul. Mm -hmm. uh, there, what we find is that this fellow's higher self extends this much, and the other fellow extends this much. Mm -hmm. There is more overlap between them. Right. On the very highest level, which is the high spiritual level, we are basically overlapping completely. Everybody is overlapping everybody else. In other words, everything and Everyone is everywhere. In other words, we have become omnipresent. Mm -hmm. This is a state of highly spiritual perfected beings, or gods you may call them. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, and so that we exist on all of those simultaneously. On all of those simultaneously, so then but the, we are not in, aware of that. In, in, in your view, then, if we, when we see each other as separate entities, that's only seen on one plane of reality. Correct. And so whether we like it or not, we're all evolving towards godhood. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it takes eons, so don't hold your breath. <laughs> Is that the purpose of evolution? Naturally. Because at that point, you start understanding how the system works. And one of the good things about the system is that the system wants to teach you about itself. Mm -hmm. what does it's it a want good to teach system. Yeah? Yeah. What does it want to teach you? Well, if you are, if you are omnipresent and you're all-knowing, that is the state which the system wants you to be in. Uh -huh. Because the system is an intelligence or information gathering system. Uh -huh. so and it's all of also freely distributing that information.